Hello and welcome to episode 15 of the Queer and Polyam Colony. Let's go see how our colonists are doing. Here we are coming into episode 15. We just had a lovely celebration of hospitals in the last episode. We had beautiful sky lanterns released into the air and everyone is gonna have a plus six mood buff for six days. Um, this also caused a wanderer to arrive, which can happen if you have a good celebration. So we are going to accept this uh, wanderer whose name is Sam, and we will see uh, what he's all about. That's pretty cool. People arrived. That's a nice, easy way to get a colonist. Let's see. Let's hope he's uh, he's got some good skills. Okay, so he's 35. He has the same belief, which makes sense. That's why he was attracted to our celebration. Uh, he looks like a good soldier, so that's good. You know, okay skills, not like anything super spectacular. Good at social, which is good. Um, psychically deaf, which could come in handy. Uh, he's a slob. Oh well, that's not too bad. Uh, and let's look at his psyche. So this says zero uh, for now, but maybe when he's comfortable he will come out and let us know about anything else. Uh, his health is not spectacular, but it's not too bad. Amazing. Okay, welcome Sam. Come on in. He's already like, I can't wait to ditch this hat and get some nice clothes now that I have access to them. Uh, so as you can see, it's getting very cold up here in the rainy uh, mountain, rainy mountain forest base. Is that what it's called? I keep forgetting which order it's in. Rainy forest mountain base, something like that. Um, so we have snow on the ground. It's already getting really cold. The temperature dropped super quickly, negative 17, and it's not even winter. We are just coming up on winter. So uh, last episode, we tried to get Rose and Emerald off uh, to a caravan, but um, at the last minute, as they were just about to head off, uh, Rose proposed to Emerald and uh, it was rejected, which means that um, Rose is now in a terrible mood. This also happened like a few days after we landed here. Uh, Rose and Emerald got together quickly and then Rose proposed. And I think that caused a breakup at that time because the relationship was so new. But luckily this time, uh, it did not cause the relationship to fail. So they are still a couple. So that was kind of a close call because they have all these nice positive interactions. Um, but yeah, so they're not engaged, which is too bad. I would have loved to have a rose and emerald wedding here on the base. So since they're still a couple, we are going to try again to get them sent off onto a caravan together with like a double bedroll um, and with all of our animals because now that it's snowed, it's covered up all the grass and they don't have anything to eat. So as soon as Rose and Emerald wake up, we are gonna set up that caravan yet again and get them sent off somewhere with grass so the animals can graze over the winter. Amazing, Blitz just finished making a prosthetic leg that will be going to Emilia, who has been really slow since her leg got bitten off. Um, since M is heading off on a caravan, ooh, Looks like they're actually ready to go. Perfect timing. Uh, since M is heading off on a caravan and since she is our um, main hunter, we had really better get Amelia out there um, because right now she's kind of confined to the base area because she's so slow that if she starts slowly heading out here, um, and then gets hungry. It just takes her forever to get back and she's in a worse mood than than she is in currently So we will pop that leg on and get her hunting for us All right, goodbye and good luck Emerald and Rose uh, Please don't have any last-minute issues here as you head off the map 
Uh, we are sending a little bit of hay along with the animals because it has now become too cold to eat the grass on the way. But hopefully when we arrive at the site uh, and set up camp, we should have a fresh map with a whole bunch of grass on the ground for the animals to eat. And we'll set up a little kind of winter base there so the animals can spend the winter there and have some food to eat. Should be pretty neat. Our last trader uh, gave us an ocarina, or we bought an ocarina rather. Uh, so Blitz is now playing some music. I wonder if our guest here likes it. Hopefully we won't see bad music. Damn. Oh man, okay, maybe we'll have uh, Blitz give their ocarina to someone else. Ooh, wow, lots of stuff going on here. Aw, they like the fact that they help the wanderer. That's awesome. All right, better pass off your ocarina. It's too bad um, Sam doesn't have uh, good medical skills. Uh, since he's not really good at anything else, he would have made a good a nurse. It's too bad we can't just trade the medical skills for the social skills. We'll have to get him trained up. We have a quest available, thoughtful prisoner. Maybe we can babysit a prisoner. Yeah, babysitting a prisoner, 10 days. Ugh, recently murdered a human child. Jeepers. Oh, mech clusters are coming. Yeah, no thanks. Do not want those after us. Okay, bummer. That's too bad. Well, there is one way Sam can improve his medical skills. He can do a little bit of nursing since we have Fopla here for another 12 days as part of a quest. We've been looking after him. Okay, Emerald Caravan has arrived at the destination. So um, this is a cool little trick that I definitely recommend. It's a great way to deal with large amounts of animals, um, especially if you are in cold climates. Um, it does require having the setup camp mod, but basically what you do when the weather gets cold is you head for a square at least a couple of tiles away from your main base. And then you can set up camp there good to bring a few things like that you need. Um, I usually bring like the hygiene items like a um, water tub and latrine right off the bat. Bring some food, bring some wood just so you can kind of set up a base right away. Campfire, medicine, um, you know, a few things like that. So um, yeah, you'll notice uh, as promised, there's some fresh grass all over this map. So this should be an okay place to, uh, to have the animals hang out for the winter. Uh, there's usually a few kind of ruins, uh, structures that you can kind of assemble together into a bit of the base. And what's nice uh, about this is that even now with the newer version of RimWorld with the update, um, the animals don't need a, a fenced in area. They don't need the little fence post. Uh, they just kind of wander around this map, but they stay in the map. They don't wander away. There's no risk of them, you know, just wandering off and, and leaving the group. So yeah, um, I've done this a few a few different games um, with different colonies, and it's, it has worked out really well. I have a couple colonies actually where um, I really got into making a whole like secondary base, and we were growing hops there and making beer and doing all sorts of tasks there. Um, and then people would be you know caravanning back and forth with supplies, and it just ended up being really fun. I think I had like a sheep farm and an alpaca farm there and making lots of wool and then I even set up like a tailoring bench there um, so it can be it can be really fun if you get into the idea of having a secondary base so here we go rose and emerald are here I don't know if I'll keep these two here with the animals you can kind of you know you could bring someone in we could bring Sam in does he have okay animal skills not like horrible yeah 
we could maybe bring him over and send Rose and Emerald back because, you know, their skills are pretty useful. So we might use them to set up the original base and do some construction and that kind of stuff since they're good at those things. But then we might uh, send Sam over here and then send Rose and Emerald back to the main base. And then he can just kind of hang out here with the animals once everything is set up. Uh, and develop his skill tending animals maybe too. So yeah, we'll set up the base here for Rose and Emerald. I see a nice little structure here. Some other walls we can use um, with the, um, the mod, mod that allows you to uninstall things. Uh, so we should be able to set up a nice little secondary base for ourselves here. Oh, what? Okay, who's doing proposal now? Better not have been Rose again. Oh my goodness. It also could have been Blitz or Lyric because they have now been a couple. All right, Rose, honestly, if this was you, no, I suspect it's probably Lyric and, and Blitz. Um, you know, where's Lyric? They yelled across the camp. Okay, let's see who it is. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What? Again? Rose really loves proposing. Rose, three times? Okay, um, are you still a couple though? Wow, you really love your girlfriend. I mean, I'm happy about that, but holy smokes. Okay, um,. Yeah, rejected my proposal. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, you're still getting along quite well. Emerald's not in too bad a mood. Um, but Rose... Yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, that's so weird. Alright, well, hopefully living together at this camp will, um bring them closer and hopefully Rose will get the hint because yeah um three times were you hoping that the third time would be the charm Rose because that isn't quite how it worked out a street rat is that an identity interesting Riff Raff street rat I don't buy that if only they looked closer, would they see a poor boy? No siree, they'd find out there's so much more to me. Uh, I wish I could rename him Aladdin. Okay, Rose and Emerald have a roofed-in area. They've almost got an enclosed uh, latrine area. They've got their bedroll set up. Um, the camp is coming together. It is snowing, but it's hovering around zero degrees, so it's not as cold as the main base, which is nice. Ah, interesting. Lyric tried to convert Amelia to her ideologian, and her certainty has fallen quite a fair amount. We should check um, how soon we can do a conversion ritual. Oh, we may not be able to do it if um, Emerald is missing or... Yeah, because I think she's our person, right? Yeah, she's our meditation teacher. So darn, I should have done that before we left. Oh yeah, because this is recharged. Oh well, we'll um we'll get things set up and then we'll switch them with Sam, uh, and then we'll get Emerald back so she can do that. Rose and Emerald are still able to get some loving even though they're at the camp away from home. How cute! I am so glad their relationship stayed intact. I was so worried, especially with proposal number three. And winter is here. Ooh, we're gonna have to really try to stay warm. It is so cold. Even at the secondary base, it's 10 degrees, ne negative 10 degrees. And back home, it's, oh, negative nine. Interesting. Hmm, it's actually colder right now, further to the south. I have put a fire inside. 
um, just to kind of add to the temperatures because it's a struggle. It's a struggle to keep the heat. Oh, we have a gift. Our visitors enjoyed their stay. That's awesome. Ooh, a ruby ring. Oh. And some glasses. Someone else can look as snazzy as Blitz does in their glasses. Maybe I'll get Lyric to put on this ring since she is our person. Although she's only at the rank of Yeoman so far. We've got to take on more, more quests. Oh no, Muffalo Revenge. I guess hunting happens. Um, who is... Sam is hunting? I guess he kind of got bored of other things. It's fairly high up the list. He's decent at it, but... Oh, wow, he wandered quite away. Darn. Um, okay, that sucks. Uh, be careful, Sam. Maybe we'll get someone to help. Yeah, Vaughn, you come on down. Anybody got a long range? Other than M, who is away? Oh, and Amelia and Blitz are in the middle of Amelia's surgery. Oh, maybe, did he finish? Ooh, almost. Very exciting. Okay, we'll cross our fingers for them, and we'll cross our fingers that Sam doesn't get hurt. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, I think it's both of them too. Yep. Oh no! Surgery failed! Oh, catastrophically. Oh, that's bad. Catastrophically is bad. Oh my god. Blitz! What the F? You really messed up. How? How did you do that? You're supposed to be good at this. Seven, you are our best medical person. What the heck? I mean, except for Fopla, who can't, you know, he's in bed. Oh my god. Okay, be careful, you guys. Hang in there, Sam. Vaughn has arrived to help. Okay, and he's got a better weapon. One down. Okay, so this went well. We just have to hope Amelia is okay. And Sam, I'm gonna take you off hunting. Um, Cause yeah. Okay, let's keep an eye on Amelia here. Okay, she's been patched up a little bit. No, no longer dead in five hours, so that's very good. That sucks, we're gonna have to get Blitz to make another prosthetic leg and try again. Thank you, Lyric, for helping out cleaning everything. Look at this cute cherry tree. It apparently has cherries, even though you can't really see them. There you go, we can get Emerald to, uh, to do some cooking. Nope, she's not the one who cooks. We'll get Rose to do a little cooking. She can improve her cooking skills. Uh, Blitz, I know you'd like to play some music, but you kind of suck at it, so I'm gonna get you to drop your, drop your ocarina instead, and someone else can pick it up. Yeah, go for a walk. That's a great idea. Um, what, if this is Emma, if this is Rose again, asking Emerald to marry her, I am seriously going to like, look into something like, is this a glitch? Is there something wrong? Is there some little thing that 
could be tweaked. This does not seem normal. Uh, it could just be the adventures of RimWorld. Yep, sure enough. It's Rose again. Uh, oh, no. And now they've broken up. Yeah, of course they're going to be unhappy. Uh, and you guys, you know, you don't even have a separate bedroll. We may have to get someone to make one out of buffalo wool and send someone back home and send Sam over. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Why, Rose? Why? Four proposals. That is nuts. Like, that is just beyond. Okay, uh, let's try to switch things around here. Oh my god, negative 32. No kidding you were shot down. Why? What are you, is this, what's in your psyche? You're supposed to be extremely laid back. You're experimental. You're very friendly, trusting, independent, passionate. Maybe that is the problem. Uh, outspoken, confident. Maybe it's your confidence. Yikes. You're not very optimistic, but you seem to be, actually. What? Oh my goodness. Maybe it's because Emerald is not very spontaneous. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we will, um... We will send one of them back home. Okay, I'm gonna leave Rose here. There's not really anything that she can't do. She can cook, she can, can, she can build. Um, good with animals, so she can stay here for now. And I'm gonna send Emerald on her way with this new bedroll. I think what I'll do is I'll bring, we had one male muffalo here. Uh, I'll bring him to help carry the stuff. And then when he gets home, we can um, butcher him and use him for food. Uh, he was just our, our daddy muffalo, no offense. But we had Maggie, Maggie, and Mackenzie that were the mom muffaloes. And then they have some, some babies. So that's lots, lots of muffaloes for us for now. That way, Emerald can bring back some wool. She can bring back this sludge that we don't really need. Well, we can leave that at the camp. Are we going to grow anything there? Hmm. Maybe I'll leave it there and give it some thought. Okay, there you go. Off you go, Emerald. Sam is trying to rock out both a mask and some glasses. Sam, you look kind of ridiculous. Has anyone mentioned that? You can pick one of those things. You can have a mask and or glasses. I'm gonna have you drop both. And then whichever one you pick up again first is the one thing that you will wear. Let's see what he chooses. Oh, he's choosing to go to bed. I'll uh, try to keep an eye on his behavior the next morning. Good morning, Sam. Don't mind me. I'm just going to follow you around all day to see what you're going to wear. Oh, apparently he's going to choose the slice cap instead of the glasses. Mm, okay, I mean, looks a little weird, but you do you. Uh, and I think we'll get him ready. Oh, he's also wearing... Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Okay, you choose the glasses and a helmet now? Okay, you're sticking with that. That's your look. Please don't switch it up again. Oh, what a blitz. What did you do? That is because the helmet just became available. Because Blitz put on this really dumb summer hat. Are you also now wearing a mask and a thing? Why does your face look weird? Why does your face look yellow? Okay, I guess that's just your skin color. It's because your hair is yellow under there? Okay. Your hat looks kind of dumb, dude. Um, and I need your head better protected. I'm gonna sort this out. 
Okay, I think I've got the headwear figured out. Uh, I want Blitz to have the um, the helmet, and then he's making another helmet for other people. Um, Vaughn is gonna keep his helmet. Lyric is gonna have this broad wrap because that goes with her role as, uh, what is it? Supernatural secretary. And while we're at it, I'm dyeing it purple and I'm dyeing her coat blue, which is our ideal legend color. So she now looks super snazzy. Uh, I gave Amelia uh, Lyric's uh, gun link because A, Amelia is hopefully going to be our hunter soon um, once she has an operational leg uh, to be able to go out hunting. And also because it looks awesome with her hair. And I think I'm gonna maybe like dye her hair as well when she's feeling a little better. Uh, and then you can see her cool tattoos because she's got like the cool um, rings around her head tattoos. Mm. Kind of see those. Emerald is back, amazing. She's gonna keep her mask because that goes with her role as meditation teacher. And then Sam, Sam has already put on the new helmet. Perfect. Thank you, Sam. Okay, so everyone is now protected and or uh, looking stylish and or suiting their uh, special roles in the ideal religion of the spirituality of all. Okay, and as for Rose at our secondary base, she is going to do some cooking because they are out of food over here. And she can finish setting up the base, do some mining for steel, uh, finish up the floor so that we can have a clean cooking area here by the fire, um, which is also helping keep things warm. And I'm starting a little fridge up here so that we can keep uh, meals and meat up here and it will, um, you know, stay relatively cold. If it, if it gets too warmed up by being adjacent to the fire room, I might move it a little farther away and have it be kind of off the, um, the latrine room so that it stays colder. I think having these insulated walls helps. These are just steel walls, whereas these are marble and granite, so it kind of keeps this heat in here and out of here but it does make the uh, the main room a nice temperature which is perfect so Rose has completed some butchering now she can do a little bit of cooking uh, actually I'm gonna make this the home area so that she can first do some cleaning because you don't want to get sick with food poisoning from having a very dirty cooking area. Amazing. All right, so Rose will now have food to eat. Emerald is back home. That's lovely. We will send Sam off shortly. He's cloud watching. That is super cute. Uh, but before he leaves, maybe we will have something uh, to find out about him. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. This must be Lyric and Blitz. Ah, oh, Blitz proposed to Lyric and she agreed. Oh, I feel so bad for Rose and Emerald that they just couldn't do the same. That's awesome. They were hanging out out here in the courtyard, which is looking really great. Well, that is really lovely. I will be very happy to see that marriage happen. Do we have a marriage spot? it in our no we don't so we better make it in our nice um room probably our dining room is the spiffiest room yeah very impressive so we'll make a spot there and be ready for them how exciting okay now that emerald is back and amelia is up and about even though she is not fully healed I'm going to have Emerald do uh, this conversion attempt, and then we can also do this cool type of conversion ritual uh, sometime soon. Okay, awesome, we've reduced her certainty, so we'll keep chipping away at that. All right, this is where I'm going to have to leave it for tonight. We'll say goodnight to the Rainy Mountain Forest base. 
and I hope everyone is having a good week. Mine has been really busy doing my uh, school placement. Um, it's definitely challenging, uh, a lot of work, but I'm really, really enjoying it at the same time. And I'm very excited that I will be graduating once I finish this. And we'll definitely be getting to that raid next episode. We are not getting to it this episode. So we'll have to return in episode 16 uh, to find out what this raid is all about. Ooh, transport pods. I hate transport pods. Okay, come back next week to see me flail around and probably fail and probably get hurt. Um, that's not so good. Um, and yeah, keep your fingers crossed for poor Rose and Emerald because I haven't given up hope on them yet. Uh, maybe they will get back together. They have before, maybe they will again. Uh, and we'll also be eagerly awaiting Blitz and Lyric's wedding. And we will find out hopefully soon uh, if Sam has any news to share. All right, take care everyone. Have a great weekend. Sending out queer mom hugs to everyone. Take care, bye-bye.